Hi everyone, Mark Chess here and welcome back to the channel and today we won't be doing a sneaker review but this is a video that a lot of people have been asking me about. Uh, a lot of viewers have been asking me what other gears I'm wearing aside from the sneakers that I'm wearing. I always wear some leg sleeves and leg support. So here it is. For my niece, I use this brand, the McDavid brand. They have an Instagram account, I'll put the link down below. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, I just want to discuss this with you guys because a lot of you have been asking me what brand I'm wearing. This is the brand that I'm currently trusting. This is the McDavid. It's a very durable brand. I love using it. Actually, this is my newest one. This is my one of my oldest. I have my black, but I used it last night, so it's being washed. So I have three pairs on rotation. What uniform I'm wearing or what sneaker I'm wearing if I want it to be a white sleeve or a black sleeve. So this one is the original version. I forgot what it is called but it has hex pods and it is very soft. What I love about this is it gives you compression around your hamstring going down to your calf. At the same time, giving you enough protection around your knee, especially when you're diving for a loose ball or you accidentally land on your knees. That will really hurt when you're not wearing this kind of support or protection. I've experienced that a lot before. So I've been looking for something like this and I was glad that McDavid or the J. Lim Trading Company brought it here in the Philippines. I'm using it every time I play because I don't want to regret it. I don't want to regret the pain, especially when you're diving for the loose ball. You get skin abrasion around your knee that hurts a lot. And at the same time, not just for diving. When you are driving into the lane or suddenly had a knee-to-knee -knee impact with your opponent or your teammate, that's a freak accident, but it happens in basketball, believe me. And this will save you, trust me. It has saved me a lot of times already. This is the first edition, the newer ones with a lot of improved um, hex pods in this one. And based on what I felt, this is a little bit compact compared to this one. This has a more loose hex. They have a space. When you stretch it out, the hex pods separate from each other. But with this one, it's a little bit more tighter. For the sizing of this one, I'm 5'10", and I wear a size medium on the newer one. So I would suggest on my height, go with the medium because I went large on this. Um, at start, it was okay, but eventually as you use them more, the compression loosens up a bit. So you won't feel the compression that much anymore. But on the medium, at first it is really, really tight. But eventually as you use them, it loosens up a bit. But there is still enough compression after several use. So this is a large, this is a medium. I would suggest for a 5'10 body frame like me, go with a medium. Another thing that I'm wearing when I'm playing ball, recently I was saved by this last week. I was driving into the lane, I got sideswiped by an opponent accidentally and I landed on my butt. If I'm not wearing this, I'll be landing on the end of my tailbone which will really hurt or my butt will really hurt. But I'm wearing this, this short compression which is heavily padded. It has padding around the tailbone area which specifically is made for that when you're landing on your butt. It saves you from your spine, from hitting your spine. So it gives you cushion there. So this is a little bit pricey. This is around 5,000, 6,000 pesos. I can't remember, but it is very durable. My pair is around a year long. I have two pairs of these. The garter on the shorts is still very nice. It's still not yet loose. Means it's a very good quality garter. And as for the hex pods you have here on the sides, when you land on the sides on the floor, when you're diving, and another nice padding they have is around the thigh area. This is also a lifesaver for me. I've been saved by this one a lot of times around the thigh area when I'm driving to the basket doing sidestep. You know that feeling when a knee hits your thigh? The internal bruise really hurts a lot. It will last for days, that sucks and you can't walk properly throughout the day even just for walking. So I have to buy this because I was a victim of that several times before I wore this. I really have 
had to cop this shorts. For me, even though it's expensive at first, it's an investment for your health to prevent you from injuries. If you don't want injuries, it will help you prevent them. What they say about compression shorts is they give you endurance. They prevent your muscles from getting fatigued easily. So that is the advantages of getting a heavily padded compression shorts. So this is a McDavid 2, a medium size for my build. I'm 5'10 and a medium build. I like it to be tight to give you enough compression around your thighs, around your hamstring to help you prevent from further injuries. This one costs around 6,000 pesos, more or less. While the knee padded compression costs around 1.8 if I'm not mistaken for a pair which is not that bad and it will last you for a long time. I had my white pair for over two years already if I'm not mistaken so it's a really nice investment especially if you play a lot. So I have three of this in my rotation like I said in the beginning and two of this. I'll be putting the link of their Instagram down below if you want to purchase. You can order online, they will deliver to you for additional shipping fee which is not that bad or go to some stores I think Athletes Foot carries them um, World Sports or Olympic Village I forgot the other names but just go around the mall you will see them they have a kiosk there that sells knee support compression shorts and they have ankle support and all the other kinds of support that you need in terms of basketball volleyball different sports all right so this has been Mark Chess once again. I hope I help you guys once again. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.